My name is Jay Maurice Gibbs. I am the Assistant Treasurer of the San Antonio Branch of the NAACP, and I'm also on a committee for the Freedom Fund Dinner for this, this current year. Uh, we'd like to just take a little time to talk about the NAACP and talk about the Freedom Fund Dinner, what this is all about, and why you should get involved with the NAACP. The Freedom Fund Dinner is what we do every year as our fundraiser. Right now, it's our only fundraiser to keep the San Antonio Branch moving um, throughout the, the coming year. We have um, we select speakers from amongst the community, people who are civil rights leaders, people who are prominent in the community to help come and then um, usher people into the NAACP. To join the NAACP is very simple. We have a, an adult membership for $30 that you pay on an annual basis, but we really love you to get a life where that means you have a life membership. You can start with Silver Life, then move to Gold Life, and then move on to Diamond Life. So we would really love to have you involved in NAACP. We're the biggest, baddest, and most well-respected civil rights organization in the nation, and we would love to have you on board as part of it. I'm Karen Jones. I'm president and CEO of the National Caucus and Center on Black Aging in Washington, D.C., native San Antonian and Silver Life member of the NAACP. The NAACP is the oldest and the most important civil rights organization. It's led the way on all human rights and civil rights issues, and it's very important to be a part of this organization. It is not old-fashioned. If anything, the way we've seen things go and the way we've seen race issues come up, the need and participation of all people in this organization is even greater. So please, become a member of the NAACP. I'm Karen Jones. Anthony Edwards. I'm a native <coughs> San Antonian. Grew up in Denver Heights, which is a part of Eastside San Antonio. And uh, as I reflect back on the importance of NAACP, uh, the role of uh, being a member of the NAACP as well as the history is essentially a very, very important component of, of the success of our society without uh, the role and the intervention on the part of the NAACP, uh, it's clear that all the accomplishments that we've made over the past several centuries would never have happened had it not been for the intervention and the support by way of membership, uh, individually as well as collective involvement. And my name is Steve Brown. I am running for Texas Railroad Commissioner. And it's been an honor of mine to have, been, uh, have the recognition of being the youngest African American uh, to win a statewide primary in the state. But we didn't enter this race to make hi uh, history. We entered this, we entered this race to make a difference, to make a change, and to represent people at the Railroad Commission. Now, this commission has nothing to do with railroads, but everything to do with our oil and gas future. That means making sure that we have opportunities within the oil and gas arena so that our workers can get jobs there, but that also means that we're protecting citizens and communities and folks who have mineral rights uh, at issue. Uh, I want to make sure that they have an advocate at the Railroad Commission because they deserve that advocate there. But I can't get there unless we vote. Now what I do know is that when we vote, we win, right? When we vote, we win. We've seen it happen before, 2008, 2012. We voted and we won. But we can make history one more time, make a difference, elect people who care about our needs and our issues, and finally take back the power that we deserve, that we've earned for our communities as well. I hope you will consider me as your next State Railroad, State Railroad Commissioner. Thank you so much. I'm Tommy Calvert, candidate for County Commissioner in Precinct 4, and we just heard an awesome awesome speech from Representative Sylvester Turner and the NAACP tonight. Uh, very honored that uh, they have brought Representative Turner to give us an on-time message about the importance of voting, the sacrifice, and why uh, we have to vote, and why our lives literally depend on it. Uh, you know, in my case, I'm looking to revitalize our community with jobs, making sure that when we build streets and drainage and infrastructure and parks and a community that we actually hire people from that community. We've got a terrible situation with minority contracting. Many businesses have died. I will be the strongest champion for small businesses this county has ever seen. Uh, and as a result, we absolutely have to go and vote. Uh, we know that our community has been falling for years in terms of revitalization. Housing, a housing bond, a housing investment fund is something that we've got to invest in. That's on the ballot. Uh, my leadership will offer that fresh new idea. I'll be the first to offer that idea. City County bond to revitalize housing for seniors who can't afford it, for neighborhood associations and, and areas that are blighted, as well as to build 
the housing that will make uh, uh, our community uh, more fiscally sound because every time the county has to build a new street or a new sheriff substation or a fire station on the periphery of sprawl mania uh, it costs us more money so uh, we've got uh, also the power of protection at the ballot uh, in my race in particular because as county commissioner we oversee the elections department and so if you want somebody who will stand up to make sure we have more access to voting paper trail on our electronic balloting and protects and keeps open the voting sites in our communities uh, there's only one choice on the ballot uh, we as a community have never done this before 170 years uh, that uh, there's never been an african-american on commissioner's court so i'm asking for your vote and i would be honored uh, to work with you in the future thank you for coming out this is oliver hill with the san antonio branch at naacp